Dirk is from Offenburg in southern Germany. He lives now in Karlsruhe doing a PhD at SAP Research. Last summer he spent two weeks of vacation in southern Spain where he met an important researcher from L3S, Wolfgang Neidl. This contact is very important for him because he is going to apply for a postdoc position within the Hanover region, preferably within L3S. So the first thing to do now is to search for more information related to the research interests around L3S as well as to the environment within L3S. He then goes to Beagle, the search engine he uses usually, and types in the query Spain. This is the only thing that he remembers from his trip location. Unfortunately, nothing is found. So he switches to Beagle++ and types in the same query, Spain. Here, many results are returned. Directories, images, and internet web pages. We can see that Beagle++ not only returns resources directly relevant to Spain, but also to regions of Spain, like Andalusia, as well as to cities of Spain, like Barcelona. In this moment, Dirk remembers that he was actually in Granada, a city in Andalusia. So he searches for Andalusia. This query returns very specific results for his trip not Barcelona or other cities which he actually did not visit, just what he was interested about. This is the moment in which Dirk also remembers that Wolfgang Neidl recommended him a paper from DubDubDub. So he goes back to Beagle, the usual search engine he used to employ, and he types in the query DubDubDub. He must have this paper on his desktop. Two applications are returned, as well as two papers, but he doesn't know what is it about these papers. Are they published at www? Do they only contain the word www? No clear information is given. So he switches back to Beagle++ to try there the same query, www. Here he finds the same two papers, but also two entities, entities of www conferences. This is the moment in which he remembers that Wolfgang told him the paper was published at www 2002. So he goes on to browse the RDF graph around the www 2002 conference. He finds out that the paper he had was actually authored by Chakrabarti. So he goes there and opens the RDF entity related to this paper. He also finds out that this paper cites another paper which he was interested in, a paper by Christos Falustos. So he opens that entity too. Unfortunately, this paper does not seem to be stored on his desktop because there is no store desk relation. So he just clicks on the URI and goes online to the place where this entity was actually located. It is a DBLP page. And luckily, this DBLP page also has a URL in it. So he just copy pastes the URL in the address bar and finally gets to the web page where the article resides. He can now download the article and read it, thus further gaining more information about the research interests within L3S. Also, the RDF graph is automatically updated and its entry in the RDF graph is updated to contain also a stored as relation. Now that he has already two papers representing the interests of Wolfgang Neidl and L3S, he wants to go and find more information about the institution. So he goes to Beagle++ directly because he's now convinced that Beagle++ offers better information and searches for L3S. He finds one document and two web pages. He knows that the web pages were about job offers in L3S, but he doesn't remember anything about the document. So he simply browses the RDF graph around that document just to remember where did he get that document from and why is it on his desktop. While looking at the RDF graph, 
he finds out that the document was actually received from an email as an attachment. So he further goes to the email and browses the node related to the email. This is when he finds out that the email was actually sent by Claudio Firan, an employee of L3S. This is a good information for Dirk, because he has a different contact in L3S which he forgot about. So he can now contact Claudio to ask more information about the L3S environment and interests, his actual goal. He now goes back to Beagle++ to browse the job offer pages. Here he finds out the job description for a postdoc employee, so he can learn more about what his requirements are. Also, he finds out that he clicked on a hyperlink. He was here before and he clicked on this URL, yet he doesn't remember why he did that. So he clicks on the highlighted URL and he gets on another page. This seems to be another job offer page from RZ10, the computer networks department of the University of Hanover. So now he has complete information about L3S, the environment, the interests, and even about other institutions in Hanover offering jobs in research. He can now proceed to applying.